we have received the insults we have received the commendations and i remember very well one of the insults which is still living trending is our walk to the galamse site and Ghanaians didn't understand us standing at the galamse site and praying we did not pray for the color of the water to change neither did we pray that the earth should be flat to have a smooth place we did not go there just to pray for praying sake but we went there to see the devastation ourselves to see the greediness in Ghanaians the selfishness in Ghanaians the unstewardship nature of human beings in Ghana there we stood and it was all full of tears to pray unto God to forgive us as a nation to forgive our greed to forgive our selfishness to forgive our destruction of the ecosystem forgive us for what Ghanaians have done so this is the Ofen River I'm just passing through the corner of to Obwasi and then I decided to um, make a stop and then take this video this is the Ofen River and then um, if you can hear the noise in the background and you can see in the video I, I may not be able to capture that clearly but these are galanseers these are guys who are working and this is the river of Finn. we are told that these things have stopped we are told that we are fighting galamsey look at the look at the look at the water look at the the the, the, the color of the water it's still ongoing i am sitting here walking around a beautiful park enjoying families having fun everybody is chilling i mean the weather is so beautiful but there's something that is happening in my motherland in my ghana in my city that i am not happy about have you recently read or watched a video of how polluted our water bodies are due to illegal galamse or we will say illegal mining galamse is a local word so illegal mining ghana is blessed to have beautiful beaches Ghana is blessed to have big, huge land. Ghana is blessed with water bodies. But our wicked leaders have decided to intentionally destroy our water bodies for the people of Ghana. It will get to a time we would have to import water to drink. Maybe Canada would have to export water to Ghana for us to drink maybe just maybe but why should we sit down and watch our water bodies being destroyed by illegal mining and at the end of the day the question is who gave these people the authority to be mining close to our water bodies it's so unfortunate that I am not in Ghana if I was supposed to be in Ghana honestly I would be on the forefront I remember a few years ago, I joined the people of Cape Coast to march on the street in our red outfit, calling for airport for Cape Coast. Now, some of you will come up and say, airport in Cape Coast is useless. Very good. That is to you. Some people also decided to say that, okay, Cape Coast should rather get um, factories. Or someone also decided to say that there should be a train, a railway from Accra through to Cape Coast to Takrade that would rather help. Everybody may be right, but at the end of the day, those of us who decided to march on the street and call for airport, at least we made an effort. I remember during that time, we had a police barricade stopping us from moving to the next step because uh, the prime minister of Barbados or... Trinidad and Tobago, one of them was in Ghana and was coming to Cape Coast. 
This is how selfish some of our leaders in Ghana can be. And I'm very happy when I see young ones insulting them. I'm very happy, yes. Don't tell me, Echo, you don't have to encourage that. We will encourage it. If they will decide to do what they are doing, neglecting the needs of the people, we will continue doing it. I'm going to show you a video of how our water bodies have been destroyed due to illegal galamse. With the fact, and uh, I watched the video, and one man was just trying to justify and say that gold mining and all that is um, economically contributes to the development of Ghana. So does it mean we should destroy our water bodies? At the end of the day, he is making money. He can travel anywhere, stay there, and do whatever they want. Shout out to a brother called Paco Rich. He shot a video of one of the water bodies called Weja Dam in Ghana. I'm going to show you to you. So beautiful. And this is what we had before now that our water bodies are being destroyed. On the 3rd of October, there was a march. We were in red. If I was supposed to be in Ghana, I would be at the forefront because we've done this before. Behind the scenes, we do things to push the agenda. But sometimes we are at the forefront. And we are ready to fight for a lot of things, even specifically for my people of Cape Coast. Very soon, very soon, we are talking. We are talking. We are having a I'm giving you a hint. If, if, if you're a leader in Cape Coast and you get to find this video, we are working. We are talking. The day we will come up and ask you a simple question. What is happening with the development of Cape Coast? What are we doing? What are you doing? But until then, I am here to fight for the cause of Stop Galamse now. Nobody is saying Galamse shouldn't be organized or Galamse shouldn't be performed in Ghana. But how do we do it so that it doesn't affect the people? It doesn't affect the climate. It doesn't affect the water bodies. Now you open your tap and then you have no water to drink. My heart calls back home. My wife called and said, Echo, baby, darling, for some time now, we've not had water. So we go to the well down there and fetch water and then bring it. Even the well is not you and I know it is not well purified. So what is happening in Ghana? That is why now the people of Ghana are up and doing. Shout outs to the youth who are behind us. Shout outs to all of them. One of the brothers that is very prominent when it comes to promoting tourism. He's part of those who have been arrested and free those people now. He is part of those people who have been arrested almost two weeks now because two weeks before, there was a demonstration. And the demonstration was a peaceful one. Says that, stop Galam, say now you are destroying our water bodies. Our beautiful people, brothers and sisters, who are not even in Ghana, are partaking in this event. It tells you how deep this is for the people of Ghana. There's a video that I watched, very funny one, and very serious one. I think this brother is in the United States, and then he made a video saying that uh, one gentleman that was given huge sum of money or a project by the government to build hospitals is now sick and getting treatment in the USA. So they are going to look for him wherever he is. They are going to look for him and bring him back to Ghana to come and get treatment at the, at, at, at the hospitals that he claims he has built. I'll find that video and put it in the comment section. Wherever he is, we will look for him and then bring him. I remember a few years ago, our vice president got ill. They had to fly him to the UK to go seek for medical attention. How stupid and useless that can be. So what have you done in your... Hey, God. It is about time that we wake up 
and start asking a lot of questions. And like I said, in Cape Coast, very soon, you think you don't, we don't have radical people in Ghana. We don't have radical people in Cape Coast who can come up and start asking questions. It's time, time. We are, we are grooming ourselves. I'm telling you, maybe whoever watches this video can send it to the minister of central region, their leaders, their whoever they want to send it to. This is Ekwa Simpson, an indigenous of Cape Coast. Born in Nigeria, brought to Cape Coast when I was one. So from one till this age, you can't tell me I don't know anything about Cape Coast. Now I'm going to show you, like I said, I'm going to show you a video that was shot by Paco Rich, uh, Range Media. Thank you for allowing me to use your video to display and tell people that this is how our water bodies were before. And now our people are angry. They are because our leaders have allowed people to destroy our water bodies. So at the end of the day, I ask myself, I can purchase a bottle of water. Maybe I can. What about the layman, those in the villages who have nothing and they have to depend on such water bodies for their daily consumption? What happens to them? We live in a country where most of our leaders, African leaders, are very useless. You change syllabus, you change the curriculum, and then within two years, three years, there are no books to support, and you are telling us that we should go online. Have you given us laptops? Even the laptop that we're giving to teachers, you put it on and it doesn't work. So the government couldn't go to Apple, couldn't go to uh, 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 Dell, couldn't go to... Uh, um, um, HP, Toshiba, to, to get us, hey God, <laughs> this is how our leaders are treating us. And we are coming, like I said, we are grooming ourselves. Some of us, we are grooming people, just like the Ashanti people. Just like the Ashanti people. You think Otunfo or Setutu can't continue and will never live forever? They are already grooming people. They are grooming someone to take over the mantle. And you will see no change. It will continue like that. That is how we, we build people. We build a community. We build a country. But we've left it ajar. Everybody comes and they do what they want to do. Very soon, Ghana will change. And we are going to change Ghana. Thank you very much for checking us out. And kudos Kudos, kudos to all those people who are fighting for Ghana. Kudos to all those people who are fighting for Ghana. Because one day when they are not dead, their children will benefit. That is what we mean by fighting for Ghana. And when we get back, you know, the country, I watched the video of uh, this brother, this young brother, Nana Bidiako, who want to be a president. And he's been invited by uh, the, the MPs in Britain. So should I say the parliamentarians in Britain, London, UK. And they have listened and heard what this brother is bringing on board. I am personally routing for that brother. Because it is time. Look at Burkina Faso. Look at what the brother is doing now. And even that, the same African leaders want to assassinate him what is it with africa thank you very much for checking me out